Hi students, welcome back to class. And this is uh, Emirat, and then we are back to uh, the law and the equations part three. Uh, we've talked about um, Boyce law, Charles law, pressure law, general gas law, ideal gas equation, Avogadro's law, Graham's law um, of diffusion, Gay-Lussac law of combining volume, and then of course the last one is um, Dalton's law of partial pressure. Now, um, that is not partial pressure says that in a mixture of gas that do not chemically combine together, in a mixture of gas that do not chemically combine together, uh, the partial pressure of each gas, um, uh, the total pressure of, uh, of the gas is the sum of the partial pressure. What does that mean? It means that the, uh, in a mixture of gas that do not chemically together, uh, uh, combine together, the total pressure PT is equal to the partial pressure of gas A and the partial pressure of gas B and the partial pressure of gas C and so on to PM. That means that uh, the total pressure of the, ga uh, of, the, of the gas is the sum of the partial pressure of individual gas that are present. Okay? So now, again, we are now saying partial pressure. The partial pressure, call this one equation one, Partial pressure is equal to the mole fraction, mole fraction multiplied by total pressure. The mole fraction multiplied by total pressure. Okay? Now, call this one equation 2. Mole fraction on its own is, uh, is the fraction of, the, of a particular mole in the total. Let's say you have gas A and gas B. The mole fraction, therefore, will be the number of moles of A, let's assume we are looking for the mole fraction of A, for instance. Number of moles of A over number of moles of A plus number of moles of B plus number of moles of C. If you are looking for the mole fraction of A, now, mole fraction of A is, uh, is equal to number of moles of A over number of moles of A plus number of moles of B plus number of moles of C. So, we can say this. Now, to not get the partial, let's say we are looking for the partial pressure of A, for instance. The partial pressure is more fraction than total pressure B. Now, what is the more fraction? Now, we now say, this is the more fraction. We can say Na over Na plus Mb plus Nc multiplied by what? Pt, which is the what? Total pressure. Call this one equation 3. Call it equation 3. So, when you are looking for that of B, you, can, you now say uh, partial pressure of B is equal to NB over NA plus MB plus NC times PT. If that of C is just insert there. Now, it, it has not finished. Again, you have to, sometimes the gas may be passed over water. You know, uh, in, in, in organic chemistry, uh, some gases are passed over water. Okay, when a gas is passed over water, uh, the equation changes slightly. Then your total pressure PT therefore becomes your total pressure PT becomes the pressure of the gas plus the pressure of water vapor. That is the water that is passed. So you have to consider the water vapor when you are doing this. When the when the gas is passed over water, therefore to get the pressure of the gas, the pressure of the gas will now be equal to the total pressure minus uh, the pressure of the water vapor, saturated vapor pressure, we call it. So, let's call this one equation 4. So, these are equations that are relevant to the Dalton's law of partial pressure. Um, in the other videos, we'll start working on some few calculations on some of these uh, laws. Have a nice day. Thank you and God bless you.